there and a fish. Oh, that's a tank. Is that a walleye? Yeah, it's a walleye. Nice walleye. Let's yeah. go. Give me some, baby. That's a tank, dude. Oh, yeah. Head shakes. Yeah, it's a tank, Nick. After dark. Mega giants. What? Mega. This bite is something I've never experienced in my life. Well, well, well. Welcome back, everybody, to NB Edits. It has been over two months since we have picked up a camera filmed a video and uploaded it for you guys this is really exciting actually this is brandon's birthday weekend and we said you know what we've been so freaking busy lately that we need to get up here we need to film we need to pick up the rods just have ourselves a good time film some content for you because believe it or not we have missed it we've just been so incredibly busy the list could go on and on and i could sit here for five minutes telling you why we haven't uploaded a video but make it short we've been extremely extremely busy since the last video and since that we did say that we had something to show you guys now we could have filmed this video probably a month ago uh, but we didn't we have actually tried to film this video a couple times the fishing just really hasn't been that good but i made a purchase that has definitely been helping us fish it's been more enjoyable to fish out of you could probably guess it by the title but if I pan to my left, your guys' is right, you can see that I bought a new boat. <laughs> this is definitely no John boat. This is definitely no kayak. This bad boy is a 2021 Lund Adventure 1675. Uh, it's not the biggest boat in the world, but it is definitely very, very nice compared to what we are normally used to fishing out of. Now, don't get me wrong. I love fishing small little bodies of water, carrying lakes. None of that is going to stop with the purchase of this. But... This does open a whole opportunity for us to hit a lot bigger water, the bay, you know, the Fox River, the Wisconsin River, all that stuff that we normally fish out of with buddies or something, we can fish now out of our own boat. So, enough talking. I'm going to show you guys this bad boy. So, like I said, it's a 1675, so it's almost 17 feet long. Uh, for the size of the boat, this actually works really good because too big up here, I mean, this is not a lot of big lakes that we fish i mean you're talking a thousand acres or less which this boat can definitely handle i mean it is a deeper v it's got a 90 horse merc four stroke biggest motor i've ever ran it's not the biggest in the world you know because we have buddies that run like 250 and 300s which is nice but with the being only 16 uh, almost 17 feet this thing still does almost 45 so i mean it, it gets up and go which you will be seeing once we hit the water looking on the inside here i'll step in in we've got pretty simple layout you got a casting deck back here you got two flip up seats so like if me caitlin buddies are out which what we have been doing lately is just kind of been going out on the water getting used to the boat that's another reason why we haven't filmed this video because we wanted to break the motor in because you have to have 10 hours completely running the motor before you can actually like utilize it it is completely broken now so we wanted to get that done and just get familiar with the boat but we got two seats underneath the seats we got one we got the battery part of the live vault which is right here absolutely huge uh, we've only used it once but hopefully today we can uh, fill her up and get some cool pictures other side can't really see it but there's some storage underneath here which is super nice we got the two main seats obviously i went with the steering console instead of the tiller i'm not like every other youtuber who buys a tiller went with the dual windshield which is super nice because we fish a lot of early spring and late fall conditions so like during this time of the year you don't really need a shield uh, unless you're like worried about bugs or whatnot but colder weather when it's being water spraying up or it's raining or any of that this is going to be so clutch when it's like 35 degrees out and our we're just freezing our asses off so that's super nice and it's nice because you can sit back here and you can hear each other while you're driving and whatnot so dual windshield we got more storage up here biggest freaking compartment i've like ever seen like i could fit a small child in there not that i would but i could so that's pretty cool uh radio we got a 10 rod storage right there obviously i have more than 10 rods in there but super nice you got the battery storage right underneath there if i step up to the front here so right now with the shortages of everything 
uh, especially boats and boating products. Right now I just have a Minn Kota power drive on here. This will definitely be getting upgraded throughout winter. Uh, by spring, I really would like to have an Altrex on this. We'll see if they're gonna be available. I don't know if I'm gonna have to like put myself in on a waiting list or something for it, but I need spot lock. At, like for right now it's fine because it's summer, not really doing a whole lot, but uh, I need that. Um, obviously, as you can tell right here, I don't have a graph. Um, I do have a ram mount expecting a graph. I do have to buy another Garmin unit because I have the one that I normally use on the back here for down and sign imaging. Um, I do have live scope, but it's not, it's not on here, obviously. I gotta get a graph first. So graph, gotta get a new trolling motor, but I mean, it works for now. Come over here, we got two storages, one on each side, pretty big. They connect in the middle here. We got life jackets and all that good stuff over here. And then we got rods, camera gear, like pretty much miscellaneous stuff. That's pretty much it. You can put a seat here, you can put a seat there. You can have six people in this bad boy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's a very, very quick boat tour. But yeah, this is the big purchase that we've been waiting to show you guys. So super exciting. Hopefully you guys are excited to see some of the content that we hopefully film out of this, which brings me to another point before we actually get out on the water. I know this is like a really long segment of us talking, but I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in like forever. So there's like a lot we gotta fill you in on. But, so I'm getting married in less than a month here. Um, so filming has been very difficult because of that. We've had a lot of activities, you know, family coming up, doing things, getting prepared for it. It is now 100% ready for the wedding. Uh, so pretty much all I gotta do is say yes and I do and like get married and stuff but after that we're gonna be free well hopefully if Caitlin lets me but for the most part I should be free to go fishing and film a lot of content for you guys plus we got fall coming up which is Brandon and I is one of our favorite times to get out especially up here in northern Wisconsin and film because it's so beautiful the colors uh, so we will after mid-September be posting probably at least once a week again and then you know I don't even have to say it but come late November Actually, we're hoping early November again, but once once there's ice, we're, we're gonna be on it. So eventually we will get filming a couple videos here and there for you guys, and then ice, we're probably gonna kick her back to like three or four a week. So we're expecting a really big year, but I'm gonna stop rambling. I feel like I've been talking for 10 minutes here. We got the launch in a lake right behind us. We're going to uh, launch this bad boy, get on out there, show you how this thing operates, and hopefully, this uh, very expensive purchase helps us catch fish today. So, let's go do it. All right, well, kicked Brandon off of uh, the driver's seat here. Got the mapping on, we got mapping on this side, down imaging on this side, very important, you know, so. Uh, you don't hit anything uh, when it comes to bigger boats, which normally I'm not used to that because we're usually going like a mile an hour. But like I said, this thing goes a lot faster than that. So, should we see what it has? Oh yeah. Alrighty folks, well, it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera. It's a little windy out here today. Hopefully you guys should not be able to hear that with the microphone that we've got on. But we got some, we got some chop, a nice little walleye chop. But I think with the sun going down, we're gonna start going for smallies. Try and get on a little smallie action. Right now, we are pulling up onto a hump, a hump that we've never fished before. Right now, midsummer, we're kinda wanna gonna find those deeper areas that come up to humps. This one's probably gonna be right around Eh, it comes up to probably about 15, 20 feet. It's probably about 30 feet deep in the surrounding area. And uh, we're just gonna be throwing out for some smallies. Right now I've got a Ned rig tied up uh, because we're fishing on such a small little point. I can basically drop this right on top of that hump and hopefully should get hooked up with some fish. What I'm running today is a brand new PC Fun Reel. This is the Alloy X. This is a 5.51 gear ratio. Um, have not tried this yet. But we've got high hopes. Everything that we've heard about it has been great. And uh, we've been working with these guys for a while. Every single reel that we've tried from them has been spectacular. So we've got fish on the graph. We've got a point right behind us. We're gonna go ahead, probably just roll right over it and catch some fish. 
just stopped recording too, but we got her now. It's a big fish. This might be a walleye and a big one. We're gonna go for the net here. I got the GoPro running. Coming up to the top, it might be a big snowy. Oh, yeah. I don't think a walleye would have done that, but you never know. That's a huge fish. A lot of weight, not a lot of movement. Oh, here we go. It's got to be a smallie, I think. I just switched over to the old paddle tail. Oh my gosh, this is a giant. This is a giant. Oh, big fish. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, even? I got visual. I couldn't tell what it was. Almost looked like a white stomach, but that could have been. Oh, that could have been my bait. What is that? Oh, it's a big, small. Small. I got to set the camera small. down quick. Yep, yep. Oh, baby. That's a giant oh, dude. Oh, 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 oh. That is a oh, freaking man. Wisconsin giant dude. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's what we're out here for, boys. Look at that. Five pounder all oh. day, probably, dude. Oh, God, yeah. Dude, this thing's chunky. First cast with the jig out there. Oh, I couldn't even get it out of there. I might have to get pliers. Look how thick this fish is. Oh, my gosh. Put him in the live well to kind of revive him a little bit. One good look at this fish for you guys. We're gonna take some photos quick. That is an absolutely gorgeous fish, just over 20 inches long. I love all look the tiger colors. stripes. Look at here. the colors of that fish, just absolutely gorgeous. Definitely five pounds, absolute fatty. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead, put him back in the live well for a second here. First cast, fish like that, it's not bad. Sun is going down, so we're gonna have to kind of go quick here. But new reel and everything like that, working good. So. Um, if you guys want to check out the Alloy X reel or any of the other reels, go ahead and check out PC Fun website. We're going to link that down in the description below. And when you guys find a reel that you like, at checkout, you can use code NBEDITS18 and you can save yourself 18% on your purchase. So go ahead, check that out. It'll be down in the description below. Click the link, find yourself what you like. Let's catch another one, boys. Smally. Crushed it. Oh, that's a tank. Is that a walleye? Yeah, it's a walleye. Nice walleye. Nice walleye. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's a tank, dude. That's like 26. Look at that. T boned the oh. crap out of that freaking Rapala husky jerk. That was like my third cast. Look at this fish, guys. <sighs> Late August, throwing really shallow, probably anywhere from two to five feet, uh, rocky, just shoal that comes out. Uh, it's a really, really big flat, but that was about third cast in with that husky jerk and absolutely crushed it. I thought I had a smallmouth on because how hard this thing hit, but it came up and we obviously spotted it being a walleye. That's probably, we don't have anything to measure this, but that's probably a nice 25, 26 inch walleye. Not like a super heavy fish, but they're not gonna be this time of the year. They are gonna start, you know, putting on some weight once it gets into the fall, but we're gonna grab a few pictures with that bad boy. <laughs> and I think we're gonna, I think we might both switch to Husky Jerks here and maybe patrol the shoreline to see if we can get a few more. Yeah, let me let me release this fish here quick for you guys. <sighs> what are you doing there, Nick? <laughs> well, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. Uh, well, you see, this is this is what I caught this fish on. Um, we were too distracted catching this thing that uh, we forgot that you can move, you know, with the wind, and it drifted us on this. So we're gonna have to get pushed off. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand release this fish while in the water. That is so cool. But this is what he came off of. You can tell it's not any uh, crazy big boulders or anything. But we're fishing, I thought two feet, but obviously it's a little shallower than this because this fish came off of this right here. So he could have been in a foot of water. Uh, but yeah, just like small little uh, boulders, some chunk rock. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get us off of this here quick so we don't have this problem anymore. Got him. 
muscles. Yeah, you know, some say I'm pretty strong. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get Nick back into the boat and oh, God. <laughs> hopefully another fish. Yeah, this is what I gotta deal with. <sighs> yeah, but I catch big walleyes. <laughs> Nick's hooked up. Not far from the boat. Sorry guys, we can't really film this. Cause, uh, well it's really dark, so the GoPro footage is not gonna be good. Way too dark for the GoPro. Here, I'll get you. That's another nice one, dude. Let's go. That time I was actually just reeling it in. So, actually what happened is Brandon switched. Let me turn my light off, show you this fish quick. Brandon switched to a Husky Jerk that he literally just bought and just took it out of the package. And first cast, gets snagged on a rock. He's stuck. His line's still in the water right now. <laughs> so he was being nice and we can't go get it because I mean, we're talking, he's fishing a foot of water. I don't know what the heck's going on here. We do have a full moon. I, I don't know. Here, I'm, actually before I talk, I'm gonna get a release on this fish here quick. I don't wanna stress him too much. This water's really warm. They can Look get how clear that they can water get tired is. out pretty quick. Anyways, back to the story. Brandon's stuck on a rock right now. Line is still in the water. He's letting me fish because he doesn't want to, you know, disturb the spot or anything. And I was jerking it, but I was also picking rocks as soon as I would cast it because you know, only a foot of water. It doesn't take much to get stuck on a rock with that when you're using a jerk bait. So I cast it a little bit deeper um, along the ridge line and probably five six feet of water or something and just reeling it in nice and slow and that thing cranked it right under the boat so there's there's active walleyes i mean this is kind of crazy because that fish was probably like a 22 23 24 i don't know exactly but it was a nice healthy walleye for up here so we're going to uh i don't know what we're going to do with brandon's but we're gonna try and get we're, it back. we're gonna try to get it back obviously because <laughs> it's like a ten dollar lure and then uh we're we're both gonna try we're trying to piece this together here uh you know that was the first one I was jerking it next one was just reeling it in so maybe we uh we might try trolling this shoal and see if we can pick them off going up to the rocks something like that that way we don't lose you know like a hundred hours worth of bait so all right let's go do it oh my gosh i was just trying to set down the camera that was the craziest hook set i've ever seen yeah, it's not that big. Oh, he slammed it, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it? Not big. He hit it like a ton of bricks, though. I'll tell you that. Holy cow. I was trying to set up the freaking camera. Trying to get the camera set up for you guys so that... Because uh... they're hitting... <laughs> they're hitting better than what we thought. <laughs> this has turned into... Uh, we were at one smallmouth and thinking like what the heck to now we're just crushing like nice walleyes they're getting smaller but that's still like a nice 20 inch walleye i mean i'm not going to complain when they're cranking it on the <laughs> jerk bait like that get release of this guy okay well oh yeah, also update we did uh get brandon's line unstuck by breaking it <laughs> <laughs> so i gave him one of my husky jerks and um, believe it or not, so this water is like 15 feet of clarity. Uh, we're just running straight braid right now. 10, 10 pound power pro on a spinning reel and they don't seem to care at all. Full moon, cold front pushing in here. Uh, these fish are all fired up. <laughs> this is awesome. Big old smolly. <laughs> Jumping out of the water on the old husky jerks. Trolled through an area that was probably about three and a half feet. Started pounding sand. And now we got a nice small mouth on. I haven't seen it yet. I saw him come out of the water. I don't know how big it is. But it's a pretty nice one, it looks like. You gonna boat flip him? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's a little big to boat flip, but big you did to it. boat flip, but sometimes you gotta do it. Huh. Whoa. This is something I've never experienced <laughs> trolling for some smallies after dark. As you can tell, I'm using a different color than Nick is. Wind's picking back up. Ooh. Yeah, it definitely never died to me. No. Show you guys. Just a fatty. It wasn't very long, but gosh, all of these fish are so plump in here. They're hitting it hard. Oh, yeah. They're smoking the it when they hit it. Oof. Okay. He's bleeding a little bit. We're going to get him back. 
back into the water right away. Get a little bath. See you later, buddy. Thanks for playing the game. Not sure why. Where, where are the walleyes? I don't know. I know that we were in an area with walleyes. Because <laughs> you caught three of them back to back to back. We're in the right area. We just got to get that right species. So let's keep doing it. It's got to be bigger than the last one. Explain to me. What do you have on? <laughs> Big small one. Dogging me. <laughs> what? What is going on, dude? They must be able to see so well. This lake is really clear. Come here, baby girl. Get in the net. Oh, man. As you can tell, this one's got a little bit different color to it. That first giant that I caught this morning that had those, brown. yeah, had those tiger stripes running through it. And if you look really closely, this fish still does, but it's a lot harder to see on this fish. Some of them almost get like that sandstone color to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them back in the water right away. Let's see here. A little bit of a mixed bag going on here. No, are you serious? Yeah, huge Oh god, yeah. Oh god, yeah. Oh my crikey, boys. Oh goodness, why are you so heavy? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's like an easy four. Yeah, it's four for sure. That's Jeez. a tank. That thing might be pushing five, dude. It's fat. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so strong. Another gorgeous fish. Oh my god, I might be bigger than the last one. Oh my gosh. All right, well. It's been a while since I've been hooked up. Yeah, been a little bit. We went through a little bit of a lull, but we tried out deeper. Oh yeah, head shakes. Yeah, that's a wall. Oh yeah, oh, it's a tank. Yeah. Oh that's yeah. not too bad. Oh, he is rambunctious. Oh goodness. It's not a mega giant. Well, that's probably a nice, like, another 24 inch here. Definitely nice quality fish for this time of the year, for sure. They're not, like, skinny. I mean, they're nice fish, for sure, in this lake. Uh, probably will be coming back, I'd say. What about you, Brandon? Would you be coming back here? I mean, I might. <laughs> I might. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. We're getting a mixed bag. We don't know if it's going to be walleye or if it's going to be smallie. Might put this guy in here quick just to, just to do it. Five pound smallie, 24 inch walleye. That's not bad. Okay, he's not. I might just release him right away. Kind of wish I uh, had measuring tape. Look at that. Wow. The fish are so aggressive tonight. I don't know when we're quitting. I really don't. This is crazy. <laughs> oh man, feels good to be back. Like filming, fishing, just all of it together feels really really good so i guess we're just at this point we're catching so many fish that we're probably just going to filter through and you probably won't see all the catches we're probably only going to turn on the camera now strictly for giants or if something crazy happens like doubles or i don't know either way from after this point if you see any more clips before we get to the landing uh it's probably going to be a giant oh my gosh Oh my god. That's Another a, tank. That's a tank. Oh my god. Fine, I'll catch a five pounder now. <laughs> oh, look at that freaking thing. That's Dude. a football. It's oh football season's god. back. Backers lost today, but it's back, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Wow. Wow. Mega, mega. Wow. <laughs> that thing is so plump, bro. <laughs> What this the heck? Is sweet. You could literally throw that thing like freaking Aaron Rodgers. Look at that. That is a football, bro. Look at this. Hold on. I know this is your fish, but. Oh my goodness. After dark. Mega giants. What? Mega. This bite is something I've never experienced in my life. This is crazy. I mean, this this one, I it's bigger than yours. I somehow, think it is. But Oh my god. That's our third five pounder of the day, dude. Dude. Wow. Wow. Incredible. Wow, wow, Absolutely wow. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> I wish we could get these strikes on camera for you because they're just crazy, but I just don't even believe this. <laughs> Nick's calling out Big Wallet.
Is it? Oh, that is another nice walleye. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, ho, ho, ho. let's go. Another dandy. Oh, look at that. Pretty much cookie cutter almost to the last size <laughs> one that I caught. Like another 25 probably, I'd have to guess. Just a really nice stout fish. The way everything is biting, this is just incredible, but man, that is that is a nice walleye for up here in northern Wisconsin. <sighs> Some would think that we're out on the bay the way this is going. This is crazy. <laughs> man, oh man. All right, well, keep at her. Alrighty guys, well, we're gonna go ahead and get a release on a couple of these huge bass. Alright, oh, they're gonna take a second, that water's warm. There she goes. Alright, there's one. This is that four pounder that I just caught. Come on buddy. There she goes. Last one. Wow, all sorts of rubbed up. Come here, come on. There we go. One last look. Going back. Absolutely. All after Awesome night. That is crazy. I mean, that's almost 15 pounds of smallmouth right there. Had ourselves a night out here. Um, we might try one more area just for the heck of it on our way in as we're going towards the landing, but I believe that's gonna be the last of the fish that you guys see tonight. Apologize we've been gone for so long. We absolutely love coming out here and doing this stuff for you guys. It's an absolute blast. It's truly what we dream of. We just have not had a lot of time this summer to do it. But uh, like Nick said earlier today, um, the fall bite is always fun. Um, late summer is fun too. The winter bite, oh my gosh, once ice is here, we go nuts. You guys know that. <laughs> so Nick's got a new boat. We had a lot of fun out here today. This is definitely our, our best day so far in the boat because uh, all the other days we're with other people or just not worth recording. Conditions have sucked lately up here on the weekends. We live very busy lifestyles. We work 40, 50 plus hours a week, but to come out here and do this means a lot. It was a lot of fun. I had an awesome birthday. This is spectacular. So we're gonna go ahead, clean some of this stuff up. Again, we might try one more spot, but we will likely see you guys at the landing. Bow. All right guys, well, made it back, packed everything up, and uh, tonight was unreal. It's definitely one for the memory books. Awesome to come out here on our birthday and Take the new boat out, um, had a lot of fun. Let us know what you guys thought. I mean, whether you liked the boat, whether you liked, you know, how the fishing went. Uh, maybe you guys got some glad questions. Glad to see us again. Yeah, yeah, glad to see us again. We're back. I mean, we are alive. We are doing well. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know what you guys thought. Um, we have not, uh, we don't have a, a name for this boat yet. So maybe that's something you guys could throw at us down in the uh, comment section below. Great to have you guys back. Uh, we're glad to be back on the grind. Uh, we are going to continue. I don't know how frequent our uploads are gonna be going forward, but it's going to be more. I'll tell you that It'll right now. It'll be more for the meantime until, like I said in the beginning of the video, until about mid-September, probably more so into October. That's when we're really gonna start pumping out the content again. And once then, this guy. Yeah, <laughs> once I tie the knot, then it's that's good. <laughs> but November, expect, like I said, once there's ice, three or four videos a week. Absolutely. We aren't gonna abandon it. Uh, we do want to make this our career. Absolutely. And there's only one way to do it, and that's by doing it. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's all because of you guys, too. I mean, we really appreciate all of you. We're glad to be back. If you guys enjoyed, leave this video a big old fat thumbs up for us. We would really, really appreciate it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the fishing. If you got any questions for us, leave it down in that comment section below, and we will see you guys on the next one. Tight lines from my BX. <laughs>